America, a nation in decline and dangerously at risk due to a rising national deficit that is... Um, actually, the deficit is falling. It peaked in 2009. After a reckless orgy of spending, the debt exploded to a level unseen ever. Um, actually, the deficit grew because Wall Street tanked the economy in 2008. Only by putting all our energy into cutting the deficit will we increase demand and revive the private sector. Um, actually, there's no relation between smaller national deficits and increased demand. That's why a movement of regular people, young people across this nation is rising up, ready to do what politicians won't. Um, actually, the movement is created by 86-year-old Wall Street billionaire Pete Peterson, who pledged $1 billion of his fortune to promote austerity. With the help of renowned Harvard economists and groups like Fix the Debt, Pete Peterson is poised to save America from the rabbit. Um, actually, debt studies by Pete Peterson's Harvard economists have been exposed as riddled with errors. Pete Peterson's Fix the Debt is filled with wise deficit hawks who have America's best interests. But, um, actually, a member of Fix the Debt's steering committee said the strategy is to create an artificial crisis. And with an impressive roster of CEOs, Fix the Debt knows it's time for shared sacrifice. Actually, corporations like Honeywell, GE, and Verizon pay next to nothing in taxes or get money back. Let's fix the debt by cutting budget-busting programs like Social Security, Medicare, and... Actually, Fix the Debt wants to cut taxes for corporations and billionaires and raise interest rates on student loans. A grand bargain of austerity cuts. It's what the people want. Um, no. Actually, it's what an old reclusive billionaire wants.